Yes, thank you. Thank you and welcome to Street Smarts. Yeah. Yeah. Today, right. today with us we have Milton and Jasper. How about you two both say a little something about yourselves? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I'm Jasper. I am a uh, delivery man for Domino's. That's only a part-time job. I'm really wanting to be a uh, doctor when I grow up. Uh, my name is Milton and I'm a 35-year-old uh, accountant at a uh, successful law firm in uh, Chicago, Illinois. Ha! Wonderful! And now we will take this time to introduce each of our three Street Smarts people. First up would be T-Dog. He is out in front of a Middle Evil Times in Orlando, Florida. Next up we have Jeff in his, in his shower at Boise, Idaho. And finally we go to Milton in front of the Street Start Studio. Let's go to each one of them and get to know them. Oh yeah, uh, Medieval Times, Blue Night Rules, woo! Thank you. My name's T-Dog, T-Dog, yeah, let's spell it with the A-W-G, man, dog. Great, T-Dog. Let's go to, yes, we're in uh, this man's home, we're gonna come see if he wants to play Street Smarts, let's go. Go, you go first. Excuse me, excuse me, sir! Sir! What the <laughs> hell?! Would you like to be on Street Smarts? Who are you?! We're Street Smarts, a game show on UPN! What the hell? Okay, what's your name, sir? I'm Jeff. So, what are you up to, Jeff? What do you look like I'm up to? I'm taking a shower! Okay, that's great. We'll be back to get our final contestant. God, does anybody come to this show? Jeez. Oh, hello, sir. Would you like to be on the game show Street Smarts? Yeah, sure. Okay, what's your name? I'm uh, Milton. Oh, hello, Milton. So, you know, you know how it works. We're gonna ask you some questions. So we'll come back to you a little bit later and ask you some questions. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Would you like to know anything about me or? Oh, if you like want that? to. Uh, I'm a 35-year-old uh, accountant oh. for a very successful law firm in uh, Chicago. That's yeah. that's wonderful. We'll be back to the show. All right. Oh, hello. I, is the red light on? Because I can't see it. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. How about you turn it off? Yeah, try. Hello, welcome back. We're gonna, we, we went out on the street and asked questions, and now we're gonna get ready for the first, first question. Who do you think got this question right? What do you do with a telephone? Who do you think got it right? Make your guesses there. It's a 30-minute show. I, I'm ready. Um. T, you both went with T-Doc. Could you both say why? You, go ahead. He looks like a very intelligent man that would know uh -huh. what you do with a telephone. I'm thinking he's gonna. I'm thinking he's gonna get this. I'm thinking he got it correct. Let's hope so. How about you? Well, he came out of a medieval times, right? And I've been to medieval, medieval times a few times, and uh, you know. It just goes hand in hand, medieval times, mm -hmm. phones. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it all makes sense. So. Okay, let's go ask our contestants the same question. So, T Dog, what do you do with a phone? Ooh. Well, uh, sometimes, sometimes I think you know, tough words. You gotta, you gotta like break them down so that so that you understand them. You, you gotta take the the pardon phone and you know means like you know foot and. Uh, own means like you own something. So I think a, a phone is when you own a foot. Yeah, that's it. It's when, when you own a foot. When you own a foot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry, guys. T Dog got it wrong. Yeah. What? You <laughs> own a foot? That's fine. No. You you call people on it's the phone. It's a moron. I thought it happened. But hey, we'll go to the sec second question. See if you guys can get this right. The second question I asked all three contestants is. Where do you put socks on? No, oh, I know this exactly. Okay. Where do you put socks? Yeah, on? where do you put them on? Where or what do you put socks on? What do you put socks on? That doesn't make sense, Milton. Where do you put socks on? <laughs> that's the crappiest question I've ever heard. That's what, well. That's too bad because I'm the host, and you're just some bag in a pink sweater. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go with Jeff. Jeff. Okay. Milton, why? Care to say why or no? Well, I don't know. I think Milton would understand the question, and I think he would believe that the question would describe an answer. So I think that Milton 
gets it right? I think Jeff, because um, socks get put on after you get out of the shower. And he's in the shower, so therefore... I think he's wrong. I think Milton is all over this sort of question. Well, let's go ask him and see who's right. Uh, so, Milton, here's the next question. Where do you put socks on? Where do you put socks on? Yes, where? Are you, are you asking for like a location? No, where do you like put a body on? part? Where do you put them on? Do you mean what do you put them on? No, where? I, I don't need it. Come on. Where do you put your socks on? You know, where? Oh, where? like on, okay. Uh, pretty obvious. You put your socks on. Your hand! Good job. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Milton was wrong. Let's go to Jeff and see if he was wrong. Idiot. Idiot. You, you. Let's go to Jeff. So, Jeff, where do you put socks on? Socks on. Um. Oh, I know, I know this one. They play oh, red socks or white socks. <laughs> United Center. The answer is the United Center. <laughs> That's awful. I'm sorry. Jeff got it wrong. Okay. But it's all right. You guys are still tied. Zero, zero. Go to the third question. How do you calculate interest? Oh, this is easy. Milton. Milton. He, yeah, he's an yeah. It's Milton. Yeah, Milton. So you're both going with Milton. Okay. Yeah, it's Milton. Well, let's see if you're right. Okay, third question here. How do you calculate interest? <laughs> I'm an accountant. Well, first what you gotta do is... I'm an accountant. My name is Milton. I work in a law firm. Blah, blah, blah. Hibbity, hibbity, hibbity. A jibbity, ja, jibbity, ja, rat a tat tat. I like pizza. Okay. That's how you do it. See, that was, that was good. I'm sorry, guys. Milton got it wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. You told me you knew it. Why don't you watch your language on this show, okay? No, see, I'm Milton, and I'm an accountant. And I remember before, on the way to the show, you saw the you tape. You stopped me. You stopped me, and you I answered that. You saw the tape. He was just. I'm an accountant. I got. No, I'm sorry. We can't. I'm sorry. That doesn't work. Last time I listened to you. Okay. For the next mm. question here, fellas, what 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 is one only one of the sayings that a magic eight ball has in it? It doesn't matter, sir, if you have it because they have to. I'm not cheating. Well, of course not, yeah. because they've already been asked. Okay. Jeff. 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 Jeff's going to know this one. I, Do you know why Jeff's going to know this no. one? Why? Because he knows about Magic 8 Balls. He looks like a guy who's who's, who's in touch. He's got the answers. I, I like okay, Jeff. great. Milton? I think it was Milton, because <laughs> I've got this uh, idea that maybe Milton has a Magic 8 Ball. Milton. Okay, Milton and Jeff. Let's go ahead. Let's go to the tapes. Next question here. Uh, All right. What is one of the sayings inside a magic eight ball? An eight ball? Yeah. That's kind of. Oh wow! I got. I keep it with me ever wow. since the big crash. Oh. Um. <laughs> let's see here. Uh, on the magic eight ball, it says. Look at me! I'm holding an eight ball. I'm such a loser. Okay. So mine says anyway. Okay. I think yeah. that's. Yeah, seems right. Yeah. Go. So, next question. What's one of the sayings in a magic eight ball? Just one? Just one. Oh, that's easy. Um, that's the thing where there's, it's like under the tent, and uh, there's like a couple rings in there, and there's like the animals, and like the elephants, and the donkeys, and stuff. Uh -huh. And there's like the clowns that run yeah. around, the yeah. trapeze artists. Yeah, one of them. Oh, um, the, the trapeze artists. The trapeze, the trapeze artists. artists. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, you're both wrong again. But next round, right or wrong, you know, you can you can come back, big points. But right now we're gonna go to a commercial break. You're telling me Milton was wrong? Yeah. <laughs>